welcome everyone to the gs score and in our today's initiative of one day one answer we'll be discussing an important topic in economy that is msp minimum support price and also we'll be seeing one more prelims question that was asked recently in 2024 and the question was regarding what do you mean by msp and how will msp rescue the farmers from low income trap we'll be also seeing some data related to it and the recent uh trends or recent uh, newspaper issues that we, we can see in this part so let us begin with the msp before we start with the msp we'll be having some question regarding the msp and why these questions are there because we see sometimes there is a protest uh, the farmers are doing they are asking more msp sometimes farmers are saying that government should give msp for all the crops then government is increasing msp for few crops every year why they are doing this why the this minimum support price is being given why this is a hot topic why there is too much tussle between the government and the farmers regarding the msp we have recently seen that the three farm laws were removed by the government were scrapped by the government why these things have happened why msp was so important then we see Uh, farmers are saying that uh, msp should become a law minimum support price should become a law so we are seeing that lot number of times this topic is in news so why this is important let us decode this topic msp so before msp we are having some questions related to the msp <coughs> let us see which are those questions questions can be what is msp why we require msp when is the msp given where or which place who gives msp how to get the benefit so there are some questions like in uh, upsc we do know 5w and 1h theory whenever we have to decode a topic so what is it when why where which how so this is how we are going to tackle this topic questions can be what is the minimum support price what are its main objectives when is the msp announced by the government where is the msp implemented in india which places msp is implemented in india why is msp important for the farmers and food security who are the primary beneficiaries of the msp and how is the msp determined and what are the factors so we are going to see lot number of questions regarding this msp so let us begin with the msp msp is a government set price that it says that it will procure the food grains from the farmers at the price that is being told before the sowing season government has announced this msp before the sowing season and if we talk about the primary objective why the government is announcing this msp suppose a farmer wants uh, to plow this year a crop called as wheat the cost of production is roughly around 1000 rupees government has announced before the sowing season that if you are going to grow uh, this wheat crop and if you are not able to find any buyers government will procure this wheat grain at 1500 rupees 1.5 times the cost of production so farmers if they are not able to find any buyers in the market they can sell it to the government at the pre defined price this is msp the primary objective of msp is to uh, give farmers a minimum benefit of their cost of production whichever thing they are growing they should receive at least a minimum profit second objective is to stabilize the food prices because uh, in the market there is too much demand of the wheat and the rice thing so government wants a food security for the country that's why government is giving uh, a short price on this uh, on these food grains then third thing is to cultivate the essential products like we have seen rice and wheat are the main staple food of north and the south india that's why government requires these food products in a ample quantity so three things minimum food price minimum profit to stabilize the food prices in the market if there is lesser supply the prices will increase if there are more supply 
द प्राइसिस कैन डिक्रीज ऑल्सो सो टू स्टेबलाइज द प्राइसिस गवर्नमेंट इज गिविंग एम एस पी एंड द थर्ड थिंग इज टू कल्टिवेट द एसेंशियल प्रोडक्ट्स सो इन इकोनॉमिक सर्वे टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी वन इकोनॉमिक सर्वे टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी वन इट सेज दैट इफ वेन द गवर्नमेंट इज गिविंग द एम एस पी द प्रोडक्शन ऑफ फूड क्रॉप्स हैव इंक्रीज द प्रोडक्शन ऑफ वीट हैज इंक्रीज टू रफली अराउंड नाइन परसेंट so the third thing that we which we were talking about was the uh, the cultivation of essential products we see wheat production has increased by 9% so we have already seen what is msp now we will be seeing when when is msp announced by the government so before the sowing season government announces the msp for the rabi crops for the kharif crops and there are some commercial crops also like we have seen recently government has increased the msp of wheat to uh, 150 rupees they have increased and the price is now for the wheat is 24 25 rupees and increased by 150 rupees similarly farmer said government has increased the price by 300 rupees to uh, 5950 and it is a major crop in the rajasthan haryana and the mp region similarly for chana also government has increased the msp by 210 rupees to 5650 per quintal and it is a main important right in the maharashtra and the madhya pradesh region so if we talk about for how many crops the government is giving this msp it is 23 crops 22 crops plus one sugar cane there are seven cereal crops such as uh, paddy wheat maize sorghum pulse millet barley and ragi then there are five pulses gram tur moong urad tensil seven oil seeds are there groundnut rap seed mustard soybean shisham safflower and four commercial crops are there copra sugar cane uh, then uh, cotton and row jute we can see over here this question and in many other times in the prelims examination also these crops have been asked. so you can arrange in this manner also then uh, 14 kharif crops are there kharif crop time period is from uh, june to october summer monsoon season six rabi crops are there uh, time period october to march in winter season wheat barley gram masoor rap seed safflower and three commercial crops are there for sugar cane we have frp fair and remunerative prices these prices are being given by the mill owners not by the government then we'll see our next question that uh, where is this msp implemented in india this msp is being implemented through a network of fair price shops and through the network of agriculture produce and marketing committee that is apmcs mandis at these places this msp is implemented and most of the things if we see if, uh, in 2020 21 punjab was the largest beneficiaries of wheat uh, more than 50% uh, of wheat was contributed for the msp by the uh, punjab farmers they have procured uh, the wheat uh, government has procured the wheat from farmers of punjab so 50% beneficiaries was coming from punjab region our next question why is this msp uh, important to the farmers and food security so we see every year due to climate change there is too much of the fluctuations in the prices also due to uh, non seasonal unseasonal rainfall then due to drought or floods we see there is crop failure so uh, one problem is this second problem can be due to uh, bumper production also too much supply is there the prices will fall and in that condition also the farmers will face losses to uh, stabilize these prices and to guarantee farmers the prices msp is given to uh, the farmers next thing it will also reduce the poverty also because farmers are now getting more money as compared to the prices in the market so rural poverty will also decrease world bank also says that if a 10% world bank says that if a 10% increase in farmers income it will reduce 
poverty 6 by 6 percent. <coughs> So, it will reduce the poverty by 6 percent. Next, uh, this MSP will also help in uh, the undernutrition level also. We see uh, from 2004 to 6, the undernutrition level was roughly around 20 percent. Now, it has decreased to 14 percent. Food and Agriculture Organization is saying this thing. Next question, if we talk about who are the primary beneficiaries of uh, these MSP farmers, mostly small and marginal farmers are there who are mostly the beneficiaries of this MSP. Ne our next question is uh, how is this MSP determined and what are the criteria for this part. For this part we see there is a formula, formula says that A2 plus FL, A2 is the actual cost uh, incurred by the farmer and FL is the family labor cost. In A2 actual cost incurred by the farmer includes the cost of production, the cost on the seeds, the cost on the fertilizers, the cost on the pesticides, also depreciation of the farm building and depreciation of the machinery part is also included. Interest on working capital is included in A2 part. FL is the family labor, suppose a farmer has grown wheat, he also requires lot number of people to cut that crop. So, he is utilizing that family labor, but if he was not utilizing that family labor, he has to pay someone that fees, but if he is uh, utilizing the family labor, he is not paying anything to uh, his family members. So, that part is also included in this part. This MSP is being announced by CACP, Commission on Agriculture Cost and Price, they are announcing this. Uh, MSP. Then the factors that they include for this announcing MSP is the cost of production, then they are using trends in the market and also demand and supply and accordingly they are uh, telling the government, recommending the government about the MSP price of that uh, crop. Then there was one more important commission that was uh, made for this MSP was Sam Swaminathan. So, actual cost MSP announced by the government is A2 plus FL into 1.5 times. There was one important commission MS Swaminathan, important commission for MSP and they announced, this committee announced, MS Swaminathan committee announced. A2 plus FL into 1.5 times plus C2. One more factor was added by them that included uh, the cost of rent and the interest part also in this part. So, now let us see our question and some data regarding this. Okay. Like for wheat part, MSP of 25-26 was announced 2425, in 2024-25 it was 2275 and increase in the MSP is roughly around 150 rupees. Similarly, for other crops we see government is announcing the MSP. If we take about this data, uh, cost of production for 2025, this is the data of PIB, they are saying it will be uh, 1239, if we multiply by 1.5 times the MSP will be 1850. Now, government has said for next year it will be uh, increase of 130 rupees and it will be 1980. You can use the, the, uh, this data of PIB. So, if we talk about why this MSP is beneficial to the farmers and if we talk about some challenges and concern with the rising MSP, let us begin with this part. If we talk about increase in MSP, increase in MSP price. In this part, we can talk about first income support to the farmers that we have already discussed, income support to the farmers, Hi higher MSP is being given by the government and government has already increased the price of 
wheat products by roughly around 150 rupees per quintal that we have seen. So income support has increased to the farmers. Then next part we can write is food security. Uh, the crops that uh, government is uh, talking about, the 22 crops that they have been uh, given the MSP, the, the government has announced MSP for such crops. The food security uh, for these crops will increase because farmers will be growing those crops because they knew that they will be easily able to get right prices for their products. So food security will increase for rice, wheat or rabi crops or the kharif crops. So India will become self-sufficient in those crops. Then next part we can write is rural economic growth. As farmers are getting more money, so they will be spending uh, on daily necessity products. The demand for goods and services will increase because now they are having more money. So now they will be uh, buying more milk, they will be buying more vegetables and fruits and eggs. The daily necessity products demand will increase. And we already know that more than 50% uh, of the workforce is engaged in the agriculture. Now if they are getting more money, it will also stimulate the rural economic growth. Then next part, reduction in farmer suicide. Reduction in farmer suicide will be there because now they will be easily able to repair their debt part and also due to a crop failure or financial distress, farmer dependence on the market and the market price fluctuation will decrease. So decrease in uh, farmer suicide will be there. Then political stability. Uh, more than 70% uh, of India lives in the rural area and the major activity that is uh, in rural area is the agriculture. So if the government is increasing uh, the MSP for the crops, it will, uh, government will get more support of the farmers. So there will be political stability in the rural India also. Next part, if we talk about few challenges, challenges regarding increase in the MSP, we can write about Fiscal burden, on the government will increase in 2000 uh, financial year 2023-24, government has allocated roughly around 2.7 lakh crore for food subsidies. So, more of the fiscal deficit will increase if the government continuously increases the MSP. Then skewed cropping pattern is there, effect on cropping pattern will be there. It will encourage monoculture like wheat culture or rice culture because farmer will not be growing those crop for which MSP is not been announced by the government. So it will reduce the crop diversification part. Then inflationary pressure will be there. <coughs> because government has increased the MSP for rice and wheat. So debt crop is now being procured from the farmers and now it is with the government. Debt food crop, uh, it will be now be sold to the consumers. So now government has increased the MSP, so they will be taking more money from the uh, customers also. So it will create inflationary pressure for those crops in the market also. Finally, the last point that we can write is environmental degradation. Crops like uh, rice and wheat, they require a uh, lot of water and we see there is shortage uh, of ground water in India in mostly in the North India part. So environmental degradation will be there and also we are using HYV seeds. So more of the chemical and fertilizers we are using and all such chemicals uh, we see they are entering into our food uh, web part also, food chain part also. So again these are the problems that we are going to face in future. Now let us see our question that UPSC has asked this time. 
it is asking about MSP. We have already seen uh, the definition of MSP. And second part, let us see that it is asking about how will it rescue farmers from the low income trap. Low income trap is farmers are getting uh, low income due to market, due to the uh, uh, crop failure or due to other reasons we can will be seeing. So, MSP is a guaranteed price that is offered to the farmers before the sowing season. It ensures a guaranteed income for their crops. It also protects them from the distress sale due to market fluctuations. If we talk about some key points related to how MSP helps the farmer, first point that we can write is price assurance. Price assurance is there that uh, a granted price, uh, uh, granted a uh, floor price is being set by the government below which the government will not purchase uh, from the farmers. So, if the market is offering them less price, they can go to the government and sell their product. So, assured income will be there. Then, second point we can write is income stability. Now, the farmer knew the price before the sowing season. So, he can calculate uh, that on his farmland, he is able to grow 100 kg or 200 kg or 500 kg and per, or, uh, per quintal, what will be the income that he will be receiving after the end of the harvest season. Next point we can write is risk management. In this risk management, uh, due to unpredictable weather condition, market fluctuation and the rising input cost, he now knew that if the price of that product is not up to that level, he can switch to other crops also. So, risk mitigation can be there in terms of this part. If there is a poor monsoon or market fluctuation, he can again switch to another crop for better prices. Then. market power. In market power, uh, farmers are able to get a better price and they are, uh, they are now avoiding the exploitation that was being done by the market and the middlemen. These Mandi officers and some of the middlemen, they were offering low prices to the farmers. Sometimes we see in the news also that farmer is getting uh, 1 rupees per kg for their produce. So, this is a really bad situation, but in the market he is seeing the same crop is getting sold at 50 rupees per kg, 80 rupees per kg, but he is getting 1 rupees per kg. So, uh, with MSP a guaranteed price is being offered, so his income is being stabilized. Then debt reduction is there. Now, farmers are getting a good income, so they can repay their debt part also. And also, uh, when their income is increasing, they can uh, easily invest in their healthcare part, in their education part. This will again help in reducing their future debt. And also, they will with the fair returns, they will be able to repay all their debt. Next part, we can talk about increased uh, investment part. When farmers are getting a healthy income or a good income, they will be investing in the better technology, good quality of seeds, high yield variety seeds or uh, GM crops, uh, genetically, genetically modified seeds also, they will be investing. So, it will again give more income in future. Because uh, with ordinary seeds, the production is quite less, suppose uh, 100 k. Uh, uh, per quintal or 100 kg of crops, he will be able to produce with the ordinary seeds. With HYV seeds, he will be able to produce 150 uh, kg. With GM crops, he might be able to produce 
200 kg so this these are some advantages of advanced technological seats then next part we can write is food security variety of crops is being eaten by the people in india so that's why government is giving uh, msp for 22 crops 22 crops government is giving so it is ensuring a food security in the india and we see mostly uh, in north and south india rice and wheat are the main staple diet right? so that is quite essential for the people of india that's why the government is giving msp so government is ensuring that farmers are getting a good price so they will be growing these crops again and again then the next part eighth part is rural development so if farmers are getting a good price they are having money so they will be um, asking for more number of reforms on more number of infrastructure uh, solutions from their uh, concerned uh, mps mlas they will be asking for road development they will be asking for uh, healthcare part they will be asking for better schools so we see when farmers are getting uh, more income they will be investing in the rural economy so this will help in reducing the rural economy part this will help in improving the road infrastructure in the village and if such infrastructure is improved uh, they will be better connected to the cities and other villages also then next part it will help in market intervention if the market is offering low prices to the farmers this will help in market intervention because the farmers will be taking their produce to the government rather than uh, to the market so it will create a pressure on the market to offer better prices to the farmers these are the points you can write then <coughs> it will help in reducing the distress selling in case farmer is not having uh, money for some uh, we can say storage part he can again sell it to the government it will be again a viable option for the farmers because uh, if they are not getting the right compensation from the market they can again sell it to the government so these are the points that you need to write for this answer that was asked in 2024 means examination so thank you everyone